Welcome back to Arise Exchange. Now, it's projected to be a record-breaking event across the board. Record payouts, record viewership and record ad revenue. Case in point, the tickets sold out in less than 60 seconds. 60 seconds, more like. But all the hype surrounding the Mayweather Pacquiao bout is not sitting well with some fans who couldn't snag one of those golden tickets, including me, by the way. That's because the prices and access to getting one was simply out of reach, but not for one man. Arise New Sports Car contributor Andrew Rosario joins us uh, to tell us why fans are being priced out. Andrew, welcome to the program. Akhtar, how are you doing this afternoon? So tell me, first of all, you managed to get a ticket. Well, right now I'm going to be part of the media. I'll get my credentials when I get to Vegas. I'll be there on Tuesday. But for the average fight fan, um, they're going to have a hard time getting a ticket. And if they do happen to get a ticket, it's going to cost them anywhere from 1500 to $7,500 just to get into the uh, MGM Grand. Andrew, why is it so highly priced? Is this unusual? It is very unusual. One of the reasons is that a fight like this doesn't, have, doesn't come across that often. And so when you have both camps uh, who are responsible for distributing the tickets, they want to make sure that they get as much money as they can. And also the A-listers, the celebrities, the musicians, the athletes from other sports who normally would get comp to be sitting ringside so they can get exposure, they've been told that they have to pay for their tickets. So they, they will not be comp. They'll be coming out of their pocket just like everybody else. So why were the tickets on sale at the very last minute? I mean, obviously, 10 days before the actual fight. Yeah, because there was a discrepancy between how many tickets the Mayweather camp was going to distribute and how many tickets the Pacquiao camp was going to distribute. Um, because Mayweather is undefeated and he is the reigning welterweight champion, uh, they had the majority of tickets uh, to distribute. The Pacquiao camp didn't like that. They had to go through negotiations, and they finally decided that um, we waited too long for this fight to happen, for something like this not to make it happen. Were you surprised at the speed at which these tickets were sold out? Oh, not at all, because as of this past January, when Pacquiao and Mayweather met at uh, a Miami Heat basketball game, um, their rumors started circulating from that point that the fight was going to happen. It was just a matter of time when and where it was going to happen. I remain a big skeptic when it comes to ticket prices, and I think it's a big marketing ploy personally. Do you agree with that, or do you think this is just pure coincidence in terms of the timing and the pricing of the ticket? No, it, it's, it's on par, again, because a lot of people you talk to say this fight should have happened four or five years ago. But now that it's actually coming to fruition, um, they're going to try to take advantage of it as much as possible. Now, you also have to remember that boxing has been losing a lot of fans lately to the MMA, the mixed martial arts, and the UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championship. The heavyweight division has lost its appeal, especially for American boxing fans. And the welterweight division, which is the division that Mayweather and Pacquiao are in, that's the most exciting weight class right now. Let me ask you just on, on the side about Mayweather's uh, record in terms of domestic violence, because that's something I suspect people may not realise or may have chosen to forgotten about. When you have players like Ray Rice and, and others in the NFL who are chastised for domestic violence, you have Mayweather who hasn't been chastised, and yet fans are rushing to buy tickets to watch him fight. Yeah, it's, it's a contradiction, definitely. Um, people have brought up his past. People have um, made comments. Even the Pacquiao camp came out and made comments to that extent. Unfortunately, in the society that we're in right now, um, the big difference between, like, the Ray Rice situation and the, and the uh, Mayweather situation was, first of all, we had the visual tape of what went down with Ray Rice. Now, everyone knows that Mayweather had to spend 90 days in jail, um, and they bring that up as well. Unfortunately for him... It was a, something negative that happened. He paid his dues, and he's allowed to continue his career, whereas, unfortunately, somebody like Ray Rice is still looking for a job. Well, let's just move ever so slightly away from that. In that case, Andrew, I've heard uh, numbers being bounced around like $200 million for Mayweather. Is that a ridiculous sum, or are we looking at more? Uh, we're looking at about $200 million that's going to be uh, made just for, between ticket sales and pay-per-view. Now, the pay-per-view is $89.99. And that's the highest pay-per-view fight since they've started doing pay-per-view. But when you recognize the fact that um, it will be the most, it'll be the highest grossing pay-per-view fight in history because of the two individuals that are fighting, plus Pacquiao has such a huge following from the Philippines that there's going right. to be a lot of money coming out of that country that's going to 
elevate the number of people that actually pay per view. Now, if you don't want to shell out the money, you can always wait till the following week where you can watch it on HBO or Showtime uh, for free. Well, I'm sure you'll be at the ringside. Andrew, listen, we've got to leave it there, but thanks very much for joining us, Andrew. Thank Rosario. you very much.